Duty, Romeoville police knew that 31-year-old Nathaniel Huey Jr. was their suspect from very early in the investigation, according to internal investigative records obtained tonight by the I-team. Huey, described by police working the case as irrational and erratic with extensive firearms training. And we've learned he was the owner of a security company whose advertising depicted numerous guns, including one with an apparent silencer. Neighbors did not report hearing any gunshots during the time the Romeoville family of four and their three dogs would have been shot to death. Shortly after the bodies of two adults and their two young boys were found, police put out a statewide alert for Huey and the car he was driving, a 2017 GMC Envoy. That car with the same Illinois plate was the one that authorities chased today near Tulsa, Oklahoma, and in which they found Huey and the woman they didn't identify by name. The I-team has learned that Huey and the woman lived in this Streamwood residence for the past several years. Police on the scene of the home since the couple was found shot today in Oklahoma. According to these state business records, Huey's security company had been registered at the Streamwood location since at least 2021. The firm officially called Black Bear Security LLC also includes the word promotion here on its Facebook page. That ad with the gun and apparent silencer promotes Black Bear's residential, business, personal and bodyguard security. Another ad shows a pistol, magazines and a knife with a statement, I can and I will. While detectives say they know the motive in Romeoville, they haven't made it public. But an internal Romeoville police bulletin states that Huey has been pictured with assault rifles and is a suspect in the executions by gunfire. The report states that Huey was aware police were investigating him for the quadruple killing. And at one point, he followed investigators while driving recklessly. The police memo dated Sunday, the day the bodies were found, also states there wasn't sufficient evidence at that moment to arrest Nathaniel Huey Jr. But now three full days later, Huey is dead, his companion critically wounded, as authorities did try to take them into custody. Yesterday, the woman was reported as missing and endangered by her family after she was seen leaving that Streamwood home she shared with murder suspect Nathaniel Huey. Because of the situation involving her not being clear, we're not showing or naming her at this point. Got it. But still, from Sunday, they knew who they were looking for pretty much. It would appear within the moment they walked into the house, for whatever reason, they knew who to look for. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.